And a very good morning to you, Leslie. Good morning, John. How are we? Well, I'm actually pretty good, although I'm feeling a little bit grumpy because Steph has just shown me the photos that you sent her when you were feeling a little bit grumpy too. So uh, you and I are both a bit grumpy and we're talking recycling. <laughs> those those photos are terrible. Yeah, so that's what we know as contamination and recycling or sometimes wish cycling. People like to pop it in the bin and hope someone else will deal with it. Um, so it's the same old message. Recycling has to be clean and it has to be correct. Um, and we can't recycle everything. There is limits to what we can recycle. So it's very important that people take the time, rinse it out, make sure it's clean. If you're making vomiting noises over your recycling, it's not clean enough and absolutely no lids, no flat lids, no screw-on lids. They're all landfill. Just all lids to landfill. Don't put any yeah. lid in yeah. your recycle yeah. bin. The photos you've sent through, there was a gun cartridge in there, uh, mm -hmm. a, a, a full bottle of tomato sauce, in your recycle bin. I mean, where, yeah. where are these people think, you know, oh God, I don't know. What, what's happening, Well, Leslie? perhaps they were planning the tomato sauce was going to match up with the people who put fish and chips in the recycling. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so food, absolutely no food whatsoever in recycling. Thank you very much. If your recycling smells bad, it's no longer recycling. Um, it's landfill. It's rubbish. So it has to be clean. Um, yeah, we don't want to see maggots. We don't want to smell it bad. We don't want minky milk. Um, I probably haven't drunk milk now in three weeks because we had an exceptionally bad day down at the transfer station and um, just, no, the smell was overwhelming. Mm, that's a bad pong. Milk bottles. That's a really oh, bad it's a, pong. A real, it's a real bad pong. Yeah. And, um, okay, so, you know, your yoghurt containers, are they recyclable usually? So if they're that bigger one litre one, have a look on the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important. You basically work through a process, right? The container has to have come from your kitchen, your bathroom, or your laundry, right? So we do not want the oil container from your garage. So once you've done that, then look at it. Absolutely no lid. So get rid of all the lid. That makes it easy. Then look at it and see if you can squinch it. If you can squinch it, it is deemed as a soft plastic and we only want the rigid, harder containers. So the um, inner film that comes when your biscuits or your crackers, you can scrunch that, it's deemed a soft plastic. Then the plastic you've got left, you start looking for the number on the bottom of the bottle. It has to be in a triangle, chasing arrows triangle, and it has to be the number one, two, five to be recycled. So that's so one, it's a three, two, or one, five. Or yep. Five, yep. If it's a three, four, or six or seven, it is landfill rubbish. Okay, has this always so been the case, of, Leslie? Has this just changed? Um, or is it no, always... we've, we've, it's recently changed. Um, yep. So we used to take all seven grades of plastic, mm -hmm. but the international market is just not there anymore. Um, those grades three, four, six and seven are harder to recycle. There's less market to send them to. Grade one, two and five can be recycled in New Zealand. Okay. So this is about keeping it local. Um, the ones that will catch people out will be um, sour cream containers, cottage cheese containers, etc. You asked about the yogurt pot. Mm -hmm. If it's the one litre yogurt pot, it should have a five on the bottom. If it's got no number, it's rubbish. Um, the little tiny yogurt pots that yep. go in school lunches, oh, they're confusing because they seem to be about every number and some of them are no number. So I think with yogurt pots, it's actually easier to say those small ones. You can do your head in trying to find the number and work out which brand and which can't and can. Um, so no to yogurt pots that small size. Okay. And and um, if it if it is going in, make sure it's clean. Are we talking spot, yes. spotlessly clean? Well, we would like you to be able to handle it and not feel con yucky contamination and feeling the need to throw up. Um, I mean, we've literally had people at the side of the recycle bin dry retching because their recycling has been so bad. And if it causes you to do that, well, we don't want it in recycling, thank you very much, because it's not clean enough. So, um, yeah, just rinse it at the end of your dish water. If you're really worried about your water usage, take that water out and pour it on the plants outside. It's nice to see people caring that much about their wasting water. Um, it's not hard. And yeah. yeah, it's not hard at all. Even in lockdown, we had people bringing in eight, ten weeks worth of recycling. It was absolutely fine. Good, clean recycling mm -hmm. does not smell bad and it doesn't grow mold. mold. It will store in um, the garage. Yep, yep, absolutely. Yeah, and it won't attract cats, rats and mice because there's no food left on it. It's clean. But, Le Leslie, yeah. we've had a couple of sad Situation. Well, I've heard um, you know in the news that a couple of whole truckloads of recycling have had to go to landfill because you know there was a couple of bins of 
contaminated stuff. Is that the yep. situation? So, you know, can, can a whole truckload be put at risk of going to landfill if there's some dirty stuff in there? Yeah, very, very much so. And it only takes one person to put grass clippings in there recycling them. How do you separate that out of a truckload of recycling? It's yeah. not possible. So common so, sense, yeah. yeah? Yeah, common sense. And if you don't know, the info is all there. It's all on the council website. If you're down at the transfer stations, ask staff. We'd much rather help you down there get it right, um, clear up some of the confusion, bust a few of them up. And um, because I genuinely believe most people want to get it right, um, and we want to help you. Mm-hmm. Leslie, just quickly, you mentioned the oil containers. A lot of us like to do our own oil changes at home. We all know mm-hmm. that the, the filter goes straight to landfill. The container okay. goes to landfill. But what about the oil itself? Can we have that recycled? Yes, so you can drop that off down at Southbrook or um, Oxford transfer stations and there is an oil recycling drum. So again, just ask the staff. Um, it's the same for garden chemicals. We have drop-off points for those. You can drop them off for free. Um, again, ask staff because we'd like to know what's coming into site as well. Jolly good. Leslie Otte, everybody from Eco Educate. We're talking recycling today and Leslie will join us again in a month from now right here at Compass FM.